In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your laptop and get up to two times the performance. Pretty crazy, right? And you might be thinking, whoa, how much is this going to cost you? And I'm going to say, well, not much at all. Especially if you're a creator and you've bought yourself a brand new laptop, I highly recommend upgrading two things in your laptop. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Pay the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10 but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out whokeys.com in the video description below. So here I have my favorite crate laptop for creators. Just go check out this laptop review and then you'll know what, what I'm talking about. It features so many other things. But what we are upgrading is the RAM and the SSD or adding the SSD. And this is not just about this laptop. You can do it with a lot of other laptops, but I'm gonna show this laptop as an example because there's some very important things that you need to look out for. First of all, what you wanna do is make sure that your laptop is turned off. So I have already turned off. If you haven't shut your laptop down, then do that. Okay, you can see it's not coming on. Then flip your laptop around. Now you need some kind of a small uh, tool kit or screwdriver kit. I highly recommend this iFixit kit. I've, I've had it for like years and years and years now. And this is so useful when you're working with small electronics. All you have to do is just start undoing these screws. Okay, bear in mind that this laptop and most likely any laptop you're gonna be using as well has different lengths of screws which means that you want to make sure that your screws you know which screw length goes into which screw hole so i know this laptop has three lengths of screws and this ifixit screw kit will be very helpful with this these here in the middle will be all the same length so i'm going to put these all in one kind of square here then we have these side ones or top corner ones which are slightly shorter and then we have these front screws which are very, very small. So once you've got all your screws off, you need somehow something to get this back cover off. Here we have these little grills in the front of the laptop there. And what you wanna do is get something underneath there to pry it up just like that. If you're doing this type of thing regularly, I highly recommend getting a, a iFixit prying and opening tool kit as well, because then you have a tool like, where is it? Just like that, a tool like that. What you can do is just put it underneath there and then push it up and look at that, you've got your cover off. And once this is off, you can just gently lift the laptop cover off. Now, once you've got your laptop open, you can see all sorts of things in here. Here we can see there's one SSD already installed and there's one Sodium DDR5 stick already installed as well. But there's one free, and there's one SSD free. Now on your laptop, you might not have a free SSD or you might not have a RAM stick installed. Maybe you only have one spare one or your laptop might have these in a different place, but it's quite obvious to spot like where these are. Let's talk about the RAM upgrade first. Make sure that the laptop is turned off. You want to make sure that you know what is your RAM speed that your laptop already has um, installed. So I've got one kit in here. Uh, the RAM kit that already is installed here for me is an SK Hynix kit for me. As you can see, they've put like this kind of a cool down film around my laptop here. And interestingly, this is a 5600 stick you want to match the speed of the ram and you're saying how do i know the ram sometimes you don't have it on the ram stick for example if it might look like that how do you know it i'll show you in a moment in uh, windows how you can do that so before you turn your laptop off and buy you know the ram sticks you want to make sure that you know which is the right speed there even though this is 5600 megatransfers per second, this RAM is actually running at 5200 megatransfers because that's what the BIOS on the laptop is setting this to. So because I already have one 32 gigabyte kit installed, which is very good for upgrading because we don't have to get rid of the already existing stick, but we can just add a secondary stick and buy a separate uh, single stick. For example, you can buy this Kingston Value RAM kit that's this here. And I can see this only at $113 or something like that for a 32 gigabyte uh, kit, like a single one. So you don't have to buy a whole kit. And then you can just literally slot it in there like that. You know, make sure that your notch with this lines up. 
it goes on an angle at first, right? You slot it in there and then you just press down. And then when you hear a click, your RAM is installed. So let's say you only have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Maybe you've got a single 16 uh, gigabyte stick or you've got a dual one. What you can get is get already a dual kit of 64 gigabytes. And if you are a creator, I highly recommend going 64 gigabytes on your laptop. Now don't buy that RAM when you first get the laptop, unless you really want to spend some more money. But if you buy them from a third party or yourself, you're going to get them cheaper on Amazon or any of these places. For example, these Kingston Theory Impact ones, very affordable, or even the value RAM, they're exactly the same basically. This is 5600 mega transfers kit now. All you have to do is exactly the same. Just push the RAM in, click it in, push the RAM in, and click it in. And now it's gonna be much better when we're exporting video, working with photos, we need a bit more RAM. But bear in mind that the value and best bang for buck upgrade option here would be to just buy a single secondary slot and then put it in there. And like with this laptop, Asus just really wants you to upgrade it because they haven't filled it with two 16 gigabyte sticks. They give you 32 gigabytes, which is on a single stick there, but it actually runs half the speed because our uh, RAM is a dual channel RAM. And if you don't have RAM on the secondary slot, it only runs kind of half the speed and is not as fast and not as snappy. If you want to know what's the actual difference between 32 and 64 gigabytes of RAM, then stick around for the video. It's coming out very, very soon. And now the SSD upgrade. As you can see, we have already one SSD installed here, which is um, this Samsung one in there. And when you're upgrading laptop RAM, you gotta be a little bit careful because some of these SSDs are single-sided and some of them are dual-sided. What I mean is that when you go higher capacities, that's what usually happens. The higher capacities are dual-sided. So the NAND chips actually are not just on the front, which you can see on this is just on the front. This is Kingston Fury Renegade, one terabyte SSD. The 512 gigabytes and one terabyte are single sided, but then two terabyte and four terabyte are dual sided. And I have this Kingston KC 3000 here as well. You can see this is dual sided as well. And not all laptops support dual sided SSDs. I have a feeling that mine does here because there is quite a big or deep slot for this here. Usually it's not so far off there. Oh yeah, this is good. So I can even have a dual sided SSD on this Pro Art laptop, which is absolutely amazing. Now, the only downside for this laptop is that it doesn't come with the screw for this M.2 slot. So you're gonna have to buy that screw separately or if you might already have this. Because I have a lot of motherboards lying around here, I just, take one of those screws from one of these motherboards and then literally screw it in there just like that and our SSD has been installed. Now what you also need is a little bit of a thermal pad for this job. This is not particularly necessary but if you want to in this laptop you can add a secondary thermal pad because that will just stick it in the back over here and then this is going to cool it down a little bit more because this is aluminium, I believe, which means that this whole back plate of the laptop will act as a heat sink of this. So I just made sure that I've got this matching kind of thickness of this, and I'm just gonna put it down there just like that. Now, what you can do now is put the back back on and then, you know, actually turn the laptop on and screw everything back in. But I wanna make sure that everything is working properly. So I'm just gonna open it just like that and then turn the laptop on. As you can see, I've pressed the power button and now we're just gonna wait to see what is gonna happen. It might take some time, especially if you've um, added some more RAM to the system because it has to do the RAM check again and train the memory on the laptop. Okay, it says plug in AC power. I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'll just turn it this way so we can see what's going on. So please plug in AC power. Windows update will update BIOS after 60 seconds. Be patient, so it's gonna have to do a BIOS update now because of what we've put in there. So we're gonna just press confirm and then it says don't turn your computer off. There we go. Let's have a look at if we're gonna get boot. Look at that, it goes to Windows. So it did like a few 
a boots or like boot cycles, update the BIOS and then went in. Now I'm not sure if that update BIOS thing was actually just a coincidence that this happened at the same time because I haven't had that one before but it might somehow know that you've put new RAM in or something like that and then updated the BIOS of the actual laptop. Okay looks like it's working so what I'm gonna do now is actually shut the laptop. The fans are still spinning here for some reason and then let's put this back. Okay, and now remember which screws went where and then put them back. So now once you are on your Windows laptop, you're gonna hit Control Shift Escape or just type in Task Manager and then you can open it. And then when you go to this Performance tab, you can see that um, now we have 64 gigabytes of RAM installed. If you click on this one, you can see that it is running 5200 mega transfers per second. Now, even though I have installed the 5600 mega transfers per second, I'm getting 5200 mega transfers per speed. So if you can't find a 5200 mega transfer kit, then just feel free to go with the 5600 and then the BIOS will default it to slightly slower just to give you a little bit uh, better stability of the RAM. Or check out the Kingston Value RAM kit of 64 gigabytes because you'll get it extremely cheap anyway. So the second thing we installed was the SSD in there and if you go to your computer shift windows and e and you go to this pc you realize where is our secondary store we just installed the ssd is it broken what's going on in there because it's not here what you have to do is if it's a brand new ssd you have to go to disk uh, create and format hard disk partitions if you open this on windows you're going to be prompted with this text here this says initialize disk and we're just going to click OK. And you can see the disk here that has been installed. So we haven't said that whether it's going to be single partition or multiple partitions, I'm just going to leave it unallocated. OK, so what we want to do is you click right click on that black little bar there, click new simple volume, click next, click next, assign the date drive letter, whichever one you want, and then name it as well if you want. I'm going to name it Kingston KC for 3004 terabytes. We go, go next, finish, and here's what's gonna happen. Formatting, 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 wait when it's completed. And now you're gonna have the SSD literally pop in. You can see that your SSD is actually here. You can use it. It's completely uh, fine, doable. It's all done. And I'm also gonna do a test here on Crystal Disk Mark. If the SSD is working properly, you're gonna click OK. We're gonna select drive D for terabytes, NVMe SSD. Now, as you can see, the test is complete and we can see that this is a Gen 4 slot and Gen 4 drive, but that was on battery power. If we plug it in, I have a feeling we're gonna get even more. So let's try this. Okay, let's try exactly the same thing again. Look at that, 6.5 gigabytes per second. We just literally gain extra gigabytes a second read speed. Now the test is complete with the power plug installed. And as you can see, we have the one on the battery on this side and then one on the power plug on that side and we're getting literally double the performance when the power plug is installed as well on some of these things as you can see here. This uh, sequential 128k there, random 4k as well. So this is how you upgrade your laptop RAM and SSD, especially with this Pro Art laptop here. And if you're a crate, I highly recommend you do it because the 32 gigabytes or whatever you get it from, get the minimum amount of RAM you can and then upgrade it yourself because then you're not gonna pay like premium prices of RAM that you can easily get on Amazon or something. But the, uh, often the retailers or the actual manufacturers charge you by themselves when you configure it from the factory or something like that. And the same with an SSD, just plug in any Gen 4 SSD in there, like the KC3000, the Firecuda 530 or something like that. And that's how you can get not just double the capacity of your RAM, but also sometimes double the before performance of the RAM because now we're running finally dual channel. If you have any questions I'll meet you in the comment section below and I'll leave all these parts as well as the laptop linked in the description below if you want to check it out. And that's it. Mother, mother.